Ouch. Oh. Okay, I think I got him. Pretty good. Yep. There he goes. Alright. He's gone. Time to go exploring, I guess. So I'm sure you guys are well aware of the leap of faith over the big black pit of water in the very first male ward chase. You can instantly die in it, but did you know that your enemies can too? Just at this final part of the chase, your last pursuers are going to burst through this door while you're running past. However, if you want to do this killing enemies glitch, just wait in front of the door for them to come out. Once they do, lead them back to the water pit and utilize the crouch uncrouch strategy as to not take any damage. I do recommend playing this on normal difficulty, so you can sustain more damage if you do get hit. The way this works, if you haven't found out yet, is you have to get enemies to kind of move and bounce around you until they find themselves walking over the water pit, in which case they will fall into the water to their deaths, and they will not respawn. You can do this with all three pursuers. Now this actually takes one hell of a long time to do. I think it took me almost 10 minutes to do it the second time, the first time I did it was a fluke. I haven't yet found out a really strong method of getting them into the water, but sometimes I let them attack me because when they do, it seems like they try to move into me directly after attacking. When they do that, they get bounced back, hopefully into the water. The way I play is I play it really safe, I like to get to maximum health every time before taking damage. This can also be quite tough because you can get caught in positions where you can't uncrouch, and that's when you'll either get hit a lot or, if you're really unlucky, get pulled out here and thrown into the abyss, like I did here. And this clip was in the thumbnail. So once you murder your last victim, or more accurately, get him to murder himself, you have free reign over this territory, I got to do a bit of exploring. First thing I want to show you guys is the hallway that your enemies come from. Nothing too special about it, it's really just an empty hallway. Don't ask me what these guys were doing here. This room is accessible without killing your chasers, but keep in mind, you will probably die because in this chase, your enemies have permanent aggro on you. And even if you like make mad jukes and you keep them 5 miles behind you out of sight and you got a strong hiding spot in the dark, they'll be able to find you no problem. It's the same thing as the female ward camera chase. Another interesting thing I learned is that Trader's a bit of a knob. We kinda knew that already, but we never knew how much of a knob he really is. Once you kill your enemies and are taking your sweet time, you can go visit Trager and he's rambling something about, Oh, you're not one of them, are you? But the them don't exist anymore, so I don't know what he's talking about. And you can take his offer then and there, or you can just go about for a stroll around the area. But when you come back, the dumbwaiter's gone. Guess he got impatient or had better things to do. But Trager? I doubt it. Now, here's something else. If you do test out this go for a stroll thing and find that Trader has abandoned you, you might want to head back and check this door over here. Now, if you did not let your enemies bang this door down before killing them, you're stuck here for life. All paths behind you will be impassable and the only way ahead, Trader's dumbwaiter, is gone. So if you encounter this scenario, there is no way to kill yourself. You have to save and exit the game and then return. Here's another thing, you can do some real coolio chair parkour in the classroom looking room. N not very useful during the chase, but you can amuse yourself however you want now that the three stooges are dead. You can also get on top of this empty tipped over bookshelf. In the chase, it acts as somewhat of a safe spot, but then again, it's not very useful. There's like one actually true safe spot, but if you move from there, you'll probably get hit. And sometimes they can also get on top of the bookshelf and ruin your life. But just stay in the safe spot and you get to watch your synchronized leaning. Now I suppose that's about all I have to show you from this little glitch. There are more glitches, little secrets and things I learned from the first sequence of the Miss Mail Ward chase. If you guys want me to make that video, tell me in the comments. I encourage you all to go ahead and try killing your enemies for yourself though. If you're playing insane mode, if you're doing a speedrun, if you're try hard and trying to beat the game, I do recommend just taking the good old running simulator, get the hell out of their path. And thanks for watching young lads.